Assalamu alaikum. Uh, so I think I don't have to introduce myself as you know me well. Uh, recently I made some uh, tutorial videos and uh, some of my students uh, like this. So uh, uh, I think I have to uh, make some more. Uh, I've been working with Photoshop and Illustrator since 2010 and uh, I do teach uh, Photoshop Illustrator and uh, animations as well. Uh, I am working on 3ds Max and uh, I'm still learning. So, uh, uh, so it's been a long time to work with uh, Adobe products. Uh, so my students uh, always told me why and why you not making any YouTube videos and uh, I think uh, I need to make some. So let's see what we can do. Uh, the video I'm making uh, is not for the um, um, not for the beginners. So uh, for those uh, who already uh, make something with Photoshop Illustrator, uh, I think uh, those who already worked with Photoshop Illustrator uh, uh, can relate the videos. Uh, and uh, I think I will make some uh, series uh, for beginners. Inshallah, next time. So let's start. So today we will learn about uh, actions in Photoshop. Uh, so if you don't know about actions, you need to know about the basics of actions. Uh, what you can do with uh, actions. So actions are a series of steps uh, that have been recorded by you. Uh, the sequence of steps that can be replaced at any time, uh, which allow you to uh, recreate the final result without having uh, to go through the every steps over and over again. Uh, so it will uh, help uh, it will help uh, you and uh, save your time so uh, let's see how we can do that uh, before uh, before we do some actions uh, you need to uh, keep in mind that uh, when you edit a picture you will go through some uh, edit like uh, if you uh, add some brightness you can uh, lower, lower some contrast and add some uh, uh, highlights so these are the steps uh, that you are uh, uh, doing in a picture so you can you can save the steps and then in another picture we just uh, apply the steps so this is uh, the actions actually so uh, you will make any actions uh, keep in mind that uh, it will not uh, work with every picture because every picture has not the same problem so it will work where the pictures have the same problems so you have to find the pictures that have the same problem and make a one actions and then uh, apply it to every pictures it's uh, so simple uh, so these are the three pictures that i found in my computer uh, this insect this bird and uh, this thing i don't know the name so what is the problem, uh, the similar problem in here that the, this picture have uh, uh, brightness issues and uh, low contrast and some color corrections you need to do uh, and the next picture uh, uh, same pretty, pretty much same that uh, uh, brightness is little high and the contrast is little low uh, the highlight is not on the point uh, same same is here so we will make uh, uh, make one action with this picture and we'll uh, apply it to this two let's see so uh, um, uh, so this is the picture and this is the action panel so where you can find the actions panel go to window and then actions so I just expanded it. Uh, now I will uh, make an action. So when you will uh, edit this, just uh, record the steps. That's it. Just uh, go to action. Again, I'm going. Um, I'm showing you. Go to actions. Uh, this is uh, create new action. So name a like um, bright nice problem okay so record so it will record now uh, we will go to image adjustment and uh, brightness contrast uh, 
make the contrast higher like uh, 50 is good and brightness minus 30 Okay, minus 25 okay so now the picture is look looks good okay so can do another thing so we can uh, go to vibrance uh, add some vibrance so what is vibrance does it just add some colors in here and uh, uh, it looks good so let's see uh, just uh, stop the recording so this this is the brightness problem actions we just made uh, we just uh, records two steps so now we are going to work with this picture this picture so uh, we just don't have to go to adjustment and apply the same thing. So we just record it here. here. So just go to the brightness problem and just apply the play button. So done. So these are the actions too. So can do the next pictures. Okay. So same thing here. Just uh, go to the brightness problem in actions and just play the button. So the steps that we saved here applied here. So this is the actions. So it will uh, save you time. Uh, it will a very good tool in Photoshop. If you learn something from here, uh, like the videos, share it, uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So we'll come next time uh, with some new advanced technique, inshallah.